Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz with zero increment on Lee Chess. And during the game, I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away from the game as a learning that helps you improve your game further to the next level. Now before we start off with the next game, I would request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start and see how this goes. Got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup. Which starts off with d4 followed by bishop on f4. I can consider playing the Jobawa as well. With the knight. But if he pins my knight, then I don't want that to happen. So I'll just wait for him to develop his bishop. So developing the knight on f3. Pawn e3. Um, let's play a3, that helps us play the next move, which is knight to c3. Now we can go ahead and did he fell for the fork? Not a fork, but I can trap his rook there. Yep, his rook is gone. He's trying to take on the bishop. I have to take the rook first. He takes, I take back, he takes, okay, I'll play c3 here, let's see what he does, okay, I can take with the knight or the queen, both are okay, knight is much better, I would say, stacking the pawn. And to defend it, I have to be a bit careful as well. Preparing to castle as well. If I take... Can I just bring the knight back? Let's take. We'll see what happens. Takes with the queen and we can defend with the knight. That's pretty okay. Attacking the queen now with this bishop. Let's offer him queen exchange. We are ahead in the game. Probably not what the opponent is looking forward to. Exchanging the queens. So this goes back. I can play the move attacking the bishop. Bishop goes back. Let's go here, that attacks the knight, just in case his rook is not defending some point of time. I think we can castle here, best best time to castle. Yep. Okay, where is the knight coming? Knight is coming here to give a check. Let's go with our knight first. That defends the check as well. This looks to be a fine game so far. We look in control. Yes, this king is safe, but so is ours. Okay. I want to attack him, but I'm not able to because of my bishop is not developed. Let's still up the bishop, so on d3, that attacks, as well as can act as a defender on c2, connecting both the rooks as well. Now I can attack the queen, probably. Yes, I can. Queen comes here. Knight is pretty good there. I don't want to touch it. Probably queen over here that pins his bishop sort of attacks some attacks the h7 as well for check. If not, oh, that can be made if I am able to take that. Attacks the pawn as well. So lots of stuff hanging for the opponent now. 
I don't think everything can be defended. We'll have to compromise on something or the other. This move should be the game changer, I would say. Pretty much the London system setup, just that in Jobaba, you are a bit aggressive with the knight. And take I took on the rook there, want the exchange. But the opponent was also clever to try to take on some pawn advantage. So this move is tricky. Okay, he's hanged the bishop there. Shall I take the bishop? Is it still winning? I hope nothing to be bothered about. Let's take the bishop. He takes a pawn and then resigns. Okay. Not a rematch for sure right now. I'm a bit tired for that, but yeah, that was losing position for the opponent. Let's analyze the game. The Jobava London system working out. Side over d4. He plays knight to f6, and I dealt up the bishop on f4. And then he plays e6, and now knight to f3. Bishop comes on e7. I'm just trying to play solid. Uh, the normal development moves in the London system setup. Pawn to e3. Here he castles and we play a3. And after he plays b6, we just go on with the knight to c3. Bishop comes out on b7 and now knight to b5. Yes, that can be avoided by playing this disaster attack on the c7, which will lose something eventually. Can be avoided by playing the move d6, which the opponent misses out. Computer is saying, yep, go with the knight on c7. That's what I did. He goes for taking on the bishop. I took the rook. He takes my bishop. I take back the knight with the pawn. He takes my knight. So perfect moves there. I didn't do any wrong. And then I played. Well, I should have taken the pawn. My problem was his bishop gets a good active square. So I rather went with c3. Here he takes the pawn. And I took back with the knight, which is okay. Queen comes on c7, attacking the pawn. And I defended by moving queen to d2. Then he tries to kick the knight away. Oh, I could have attacked his queen. I missed that part. I took on the pawn. He takes back. Again, computer saying, go for queen exchange. Oh yeah, that would have been forced queen exchange because... His bishop is hanging there, so oh, he can bring back and defend the bishop, but that fends off the attack and we can quickly castle. So that could have been one line, and if he's not accurate, then he can lose the bishop as well. He rather played the move uh, bishop to g5. Oh yes, again, I can play f4, but I went for queen exchange, which he denies, and then I tried to play h4. Moving the bishop away, bishop goes back. I play queen to f4, attacking the knight someday. Uh, knight comes on c6, and we castle. Castling is always nice on the queen side, always attacking. Knight goes to a5, and we bring the knight to d4. That was also the best move. And now he brings the bishop into the attack on d5. Again, I found the right move there, which attacks and defends both. Uh, the bishop can, of course, come back as a savior on c2 and at times attack the h7 as well. Here he plays rook on c8 and I tried to attack the queen first and after he moves the queen, then I found the best move, which was queen to f5. And this move itself is a disaster for the opponent because I'm going to take on the pawn next move. Uh, and I get a very good line of attack if he doesn't, if he isn't careful. And he tried to play, push the queen away. Um, to be noticed, as I said in the game, it's attacking the pawn as well. Uh, it's hanging for free. Bishop is pinned. I'm attacking on h7, so three attacks. He tries to block the dangle of the uh, of the battery of bishop and queen. So I took on uh, the bishop there, and then he takes a pawn which after which he, he resigns so that was completely losing 
um, we can just bring the rook next move and probably go for a checkmate quick. Uh, if he defends, which he would probably, I can just exchange, oh, attack the queen as well. Where does the queen go? Queen has got no squares, really. If he goes back with the queen, then we are going with the knight. He can take. I can take back with the queen. Now I'm threatening mate again, so whatever he does, it's a mate next move. So he can waste some time, but probably won't be helpful. After we go here, we can take. Just waste some time, but that's mate and that's unavoidable. So I hope you like the video. The Jovava and the system working pretty well. And things to be learned was nice. The battery is always nice. Uh, then attacks. And yeah, pretty good. I hope you liked the video. There was something to be taken away. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do press the like button as well. That gives me some motivation to keep going every day. Uh, putting uh, some great videos uh, every day so that it's helpful. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.